Some of you may recognize that sound. Um, that's the uh, what we used to be greeted with uh, when you logged into Ubuntu um, in the earlier versions. If you don't know what that sound is, uh, don't worry about it. It's just the, the login sound. There's a couple of ways um, to enable it. So I have a notepad here. Switch over to here. And uh, the sounds for Ubuntu are in this directory user share sounds dash stereo. Oops. I'll copy that. Resave. Uh, we'll just open uh, that in our home and go to that directory. And the login sound that you heard is desktop login OGG. Oops. Okay. Uh, the one you usually hear when you uh, log before you log in is the uh, dialog question OGG. The little bongo drums. And this is a symbolic link. I mean a link to this anyway. So if you want to just turn on the default Ubuntu sound, I'll put this in the description. Is uh, you open the start start up applications and we'll go down to this one I made. You just click add so I'll edit this to show you and you can name it gnome login sound and this the command here and then call it whatever you want. So when you start um, start Ubuntu uh, you'll hear that uh, desktop login sound. Now you can if you want for example uh, what do I have here under videos this here we'll open this with VLC so I got off the YouTube various login sounds the, a contest for uh, 1204 three sounds and uh, if you want to extract this there's several there's several ways you can do that uh, you can use uh, VLC you go to media uh, convert save and click the add from f the file button here add and this is an FLV flash video open and then hit this button here convert save and choose a profile and it's, uh, that's the one I wanted audio um, OGG so you just hit start. Oh, you have to let's browse. So let's go to the save it to the desktop and we'll just call it sounds. And then start. And it's done. It's very short. So you can see it's here. And if I press the space bar. The sound you can hear the sound there. So now we can open this with say if you have Audacity. That should open. And you can see that there's uh, the waveforms are separated. And that's because there was different ones for the contest. So first one that you hear a lot. There's another one and a third one. And then finally the winner at the at the end. So let's take this one. Okay? one with a low volume. Uh, let me just even that out a bit more if I can. Alright. I'm going to go to um, edit um, clip boundaries split. So this this now is uh, highlighted so if you just double click and highlight this area it deletes that and then deletes that. So now we'll just have this left. All you do is just go up to effect and select amplify and select default. And it should be quite a bit louder now. I don't know if you can hear that through the headphones. So you can say uh, file export desktop um, sound, whatever, I think it was sound 3. 
You can give it dot o g g. Press OK, and there it is. There. Don't have to worry about saving this. And I can hear that it's playing. So you can go back to the uh, directory wherever that was. So you rename this this file to this file. As long as you have a backup. And then just press F2. And take, <laughs> oops, take out that extra OGG. There we go. And then terminal sudo nautilus. And then you go back to that directory. And just to make sure, just compress it again. Should now, there it is there at the top. Oops. And then desktop login, shift delete, and just move it here, or copy it here. And now you play that. It's the new sound that uh, we pulled off the internet. You can use any sound, just as long as you rename it and uh, make it OGG. And open, uh, make sure you can navigate uh, the file uh, Nautilus with, uh, as root. And if you want to go back to that, you can always uh, untire this, or delete this, untire, whatever. Whatever you wish. And that's pretty much it. So, um, just a, I don't know how long this video is, <laughs> but just a, a rundown on how you can sort of manipulate the sounds if you want them. You don't have to have them in uh, Ubuntu. Um, in this case, I'm using uh, 13.10, uh, which is an which is not even, it's in alpha, it's not even beta yet, and it's running pretty good. As you can see, you might be able to see from the, your developer. Okay, so that's it. Any questions, comments, feel free to add them. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, of course, bye for now.